Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to the Holy Smokes Barbecue channel. Exciting day today on the channel because I just came back from a vacation down near the Gulf of Mexico. While we were down there, I took my daughter on a little daddy-daughter day date, daddy-daughter day date, and my wife took our two boys deep sea fishing. And on their fishing trip, they brought in, get this, almost 20 pounds of fresh Gulf red snapper. So guess what we're making today on the channel? Nope, not making 20 pounds of snapper, but we are making some of this amazing, fresh as fresh gets, Gulf snapper. We're gonna smoke it, we're gonna throw some blackening seasoning on it, gonna toss it over some nice linguine, and it's gonna be incredible. So I'm ready, if you are, let's dive in. All right, let's take a look at this red snapper. So I've got three different size portions here. I've already cleaned these up and deboned them. Uh, not a lot of work to do there. In fact, with these, it was easier just to remove the section that had the bones instead of actually removing the bones themselves. So that was pretty easy and I've checked just along all of the different lines to make sure there are no bones left in these fillets. Very, very simple process. You can tell that the snapper is a white fish uh, as opposed to the name, that only describes really the color of the fish itself, not necessarily the color of the meat, like a salmon. So I'm gonna do something really, really simple to these today. So first, I'm actually gonna cook the salmon today directly on this sheet in my smoker, just to make cleanup and removal easier. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is just put a little olive oil on each of these. And just brush that on, just like that. Get the sides, right, get the sides. Okay, flip it over. Do the same thing, just so that they're nice and coated with that olive oil. All right, next I'm gonna use some Old Bay seasoning, but not just any Old Bay. This is Old Bay with blackened seasoning. So I found this at actually a seafood shop in the Gulf. Um, I'll be honest, I've not researched where else you can get this. I'm sure you can just get it on Amazon or whatever. Um, but I love blackened seasoning, and so I wanted to make sure that I went with something that had that in it. And I love Old Bay. Who doesn't love Old Bay? All right, and once the wind stops blowing, I'll season this fish. Waiting for the wind to stop. When will the wind stop? Okay, I think we're good. Let's make a break for it. You can put as little or as much as you want on here. I love some good blackened seasoning, so I'm going a little bit heavier. Okay, let's flip them over. Get this other beautiful side. All right, let's get our sides here. Make sure we get everybody some love on there. All right, there we go. Fish is pretty much ready to go on the smoker. One final thing before I do that is I'm actually going to remove this rack. And I'm actually gonna take this inside and just clean it so that there's not just all this excess oil and stuff. Probably could have done this a different way, but whatever. All right, here we go. Okay, let's get this on the smoker. Okay, so like any fish, this red snapper is gonna smoke pretty quickly. Um, I've got my Pit Boss Platinum Lockhart here set to 375 degrees. So anywhere in that 350 to 400 degree range should be fine. Um, it's probably gonna take it about, I don't know, 30 to 40 minutes, maybe a little bit longer to cook, no more than an hour for sure. And I'm gonna take it off when that internal temp's about 140. That's kind of where I, where I like my fish. Uh, you could have it a little bit less done, a little more if you want, whatever. I just really like that one, 137 to 140 is where I like it. I'm use my instant read thermometer just to get a quick check on it, then we'll take it off. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the smoker right now. I'm smoking today using the Pit Boss Competition Blend Pellets, one of my favorite all around pellets. I use it for just about everything here on the channel. One more thing about using this baking sheet uh, lined with that rack. So you may have noticed that these uh, fillets do not have the skin on them. So typically I love the skin of like a salmon. Uh, I, I, love, I love the skin of a fish. Um, it's very healthy. Uh, it's full of like healthy fats and stuff like that. Um, however, when they were filleting these, uh, these red snapper, they just took the skin off. So, um, so instead of actually having the skin on where I would just necessarily put it right onto the grill grates and then let that skin crisp up, instead it's gonna be on this rack on the baking sheet so that it doesn't burn and get charred and stuff like that. So that's why we're doing it that way. That's at least another reason. All right, here we go. Just like that. All right, after 40 minutes, let's give it a look. Oh man, that looks beautiful. Looks so beautiful. You can see the fat has kind of like come up out of there a little bit to help moisten up that fish. I did a temperature check just a second ago and it's reading exactly where I want it. So let's go ahead and 
build our beautiful dish. All right, let's build this thing. First, I'm gonna start with some linguine that I made inside. There it is right in the center of my plate here. I cooked it exactly as the package instructions said. And then once it was done, I added a little bit of butter, the juice of about a half a lemon, and some more of that Old Bay blackened seasoning. So there is my pasta on the bottom. And now is the time for that beautiful red snapper. Look at that. A couple quick things to finish it off. A little bit more lemon juice, just like that. A little bit of fresh parsley. And because why not? Just a little more of that seasoning. Woo, there you have it. Look at that. Man, that looks incredible. The color on that fish is perfect. Not to mention just that pasta. Just, this is a beautiful dish. All right, to say that I'm excited to eat this delicious red snapper over our Old Bay Linguini, oh, it's an understatement, it really is. Because now is the time to taste this incredible fish. Here we go. It just falls apart because of just how perfectly it's cooked. Make sure I grab some of that pasta in there. And here we go. Mmm. Oh man. Can I tell you something? That's like restaurant quality food. Like, I would pay a lot of money to eat that at a restaurant. Holy smokes, is that good. So, so good. You've got the heat from the Old Bay. You've got the perfect flakiness of that white fish. The pasta is obviously, I mean, it's pasta. What's wrong with pasta? The only thing that would make this better is if I had made some, like, homemade garlic bread to go with it. Mm. Well, hindsight's 2020, right? You can do a very similar recipe to this using a frozen fish. Nothing at all wrong with that. Just thaw it out, do the same thing, toss it on your smoker. You can grill it. You can just bake it in the oven. That's essentially all that we did here today is bake this. We just baked it in the smoker to give it that additional little bit of wood-fired flavor. But you can do the same thing in your oven. Just set it to 375, do the same thing. Well, I am super thankful that my wife and boys caught 20 pounds of this type of fish because this is absolutely delicious and I can't wait to make more recipes with it. Well, hey, thanks for tuning in once again to another video here on the Holy Smokes Barbecue channel. If you like this video, make sure that you click that like button, give us a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Listen, if you're not subscribed yet, why not? Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below if you have a specific thing you'd like to see us smoke here on the channel. Make sure you turn on those notifications. Click that little bell so that you are the first to know as soon as we post new content right here on the channel. And if you like seafood, man, I love seafood if you can't tell. Check out one of these other seafood related videos that we've made recently here on the channel and I will see you next time.